Hello and welcome to the news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the cumulative congratulations of, His Highness, of Her Highness Sheikh Minwa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa from the University of London. His Royal Highness the Premier commended her, His Highness Sheikh Ali for the proper upbringing and education he provided for his children, hailing Her Highness Sheikh Minwa for having spent many years studying and attending academic progress, which reflects a keenness to serve the society and the country. In response, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received a cable of thanks from His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which he stated that the achievement was a result of His Royal Highness's support. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Rifa Palace the Thai Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Thanis Nasonkla, where they reviewed means of developing bilateral relations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the development of Bahraini Thai relations in various fields, expressing thanks and appreciation to the warm welcome and generous hospitality he received during his last visit to Thailand, which reflect the depth of the relations between the two countries. The Thai ambassador conveyed the greetings of the Prime Minister of Thailand, Preya Chanacha, and his wishes of progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people, expressing his country's appreciation and efforts of His Royal Highness in strengthening friendship ties and cooperation between the two countries, and the contributions and support of His Royal Highness to enhance Gulf Thai cooperation. His Royal Highness affirmed his support to all efforts that aim to enhance bilateral cooperation and develop the level of trade and investment exchange between them, through opening new areas of cooperation and encouraging the private sector and businessmen of the two countries to enter into joint projects that benefit the two friendly countries. The Prime Minister expressed pride in the Bahraini Thai relations and its exemplary model of understanding, coordination and mutual respect between the two governments and people. For his part, the Ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his interest to develop bilateral relations healing His Royal Highness's recent visit to Thailand and the good results it achieved in developing communication between the two countries to serve their common interests. He also praised the contributions of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and his pivotal role in consolidating bilateral relations, affirming his country's aspirations to further develop relations with Bahrain in various fields. Based on the close brotherly relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al Nuemi, and the Secretary General of the King Abdulaziz and his Companions Foundation for Giftedness and Creativity, Mahiba, Dr. Saud bin Said al Matami, signed a Memorandum of Understanding in the Foundation's headquarters in Riyadh. The MOU aims to enhance cooperation between the two sides in the field of supporting gifted students and included developing enrichment programs for gifted students in schools, training and qualifying them to participate in local, regional and international scientific competitions. It also included holding exhibitions, seminars, conferences and forums in the field of talent, creativity and innovation, cooperating in scientific production and translation and qualifying students for admission to prestigious international universities. The Minister visited the King Saud University to view the Foundation's summer enrichment programmes. The Minister hailed the fields covered by the MOU, which will contribute to the benefit of gifted students' centre in Bahrain from the programmes implemented by the Mahiba Foundation. He noted that the participation of Bahraini students in the programmes implemented by the Foundation is an opportunity to learn about the latest scientific developments, praising the cooperation between the Ministry and the Foundation. For his part, the Secretary General hailed the Ministry's keenness to provide equal educational opportunities for all Bahraini students adding that the Foundation is pleased to contribute to achieving the vision of Bahrain to nurture and develop talent and creativity. A bilateral memorandum of understanding was signed between the Ministry of Labour and Social Development with Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, BIPA, that aims to implement the e-platform initiative to train 400 volunteers from non-governmental organisations, NGOs, to receive a professional certificate in NGO fund management. The signing of the MOU, which was witnessed by the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Ali Humaydan, is a result of close cooperation between a number of main supporters. At the forefront are the National Committee of Anti-Money Laundering and Combating the Financing of Terrorism at the Central Bank of Bahrain, and the National Committee to follow up on Bahrain's commitment to all UN Security Council resolutions at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. 
The MOU aims to coordinate efforts between the two parties to develop NGOs' abilities to optimally manage the developmental institutions through volunteers. The National Bureau for Revenue, the NBR, held an interactive VAC workshop for professionals working in the retail and wholesale sectors, during which general and sector-specific VAT concepts, including invoicing and filing, were recapped. Following a question and answer session, 182 representatives from 107 vendors were given the opportunity to visit the unique interactive demo centre that provides innovative learning experiences to ensure effective implementation of VAT. Today's workshop is a continuation of the series of workshops organised by the NBR to provide an inclusive platform for all stakeholders from the public and private sector in order to increase businesses' awareness of VAT return filing procedures ahead of deadlines.